Hello, Conductor Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3 with me, Blue Ankylo. And I'm just grooving to the music. It's so good. Anyway, last episode, we connected basically New York to Utica. It's very expensive, and I had some hard times just getting the track to get there, but we did it. We're making lots of money. Our company is super profitable, and we are personally in the positive. We almost have a million positive net worth, which is pretty darn good. Hoping to crack a million net once uh, by the time I'm done. Our enemy companies, New York Western, has still just the one track from New York to Edison. They are kind of sucking. As you can see, New York is now three stars, so they these cities do get better over time. And then our other competition, Syracuse Northern up here, I think they went bankrupt last episode. They're not doing good at all. We're way better than them. Even newbie Ankylo. I totally did not to build all I totally did not need to build all these extra routes, but such is life. If you want to have a quick look at our trains, they are all profitable except the one I just made, right? I just made him at the last end of last episode. So, come on, that's just how it goes. Anyway, what I was thinking of doing today to start things off is I want to upgrade some trains. We got new trains. These old trains are seven years old anyway, which means they break down a lot more easier and the new ones are more reliable anyway so what I want to do how do we how do you easily upgrade a train um, I think you can retire it well let's remember this is Boston Worcester Sp uh, Springfield route let's see what happens if I, I might just have to remake the route replace no there you go replace locomotive good there's a button for it so we can um, can sort once we've got more trains like in different missions we'll have lots of these for now, all I want to do is upgrade to the Baldwin. Bam. Okay, this will be easy. And it's a new train. It's faster. It's better. Okay, well, this will be easy. I'm glad this has got that. So that's that was the first one. This is the next one. We're going to upgrade this guy as well. This is an old Norris 420. Replace with Baldwin. Bam. Next train. Another Norris 420. Yeah, this won't take very long at all. Um, Baldwin. This does cost us, we have to buy the actual train. It costs us 45k every time. Although you do sell the old one, so I guess it's not so bad. You probably get like half price for the old one. The older they are, the less selling you get. I do remember that much. Hartford. Now, not all of these routes are as profitable, so it doesn't make the biggest difference. But, uh, there you go. Look at that. Brand new train. Just like that. I love how they magically upgrade it in the middle of a route. That's that's awesome. Good job. <laughs> so that's four. I've still got two more on the old ones. This one could definitely use an upgrade. This is one of our profitable ones. Very profitable. This train has made us almost one and a half million dollars. Well, now you can retire. Hope you've enjoyed your time. And then maybe if I've got enough money, I'll be able to do this last one. Upgrade if I sell the old one. Not quite. I have to buy the new one first. So let's just tick along a little bit. Somebody will make us some money. And I'll upgrade this guy. Then we'll have all newer trains. Oh, it's time for a yearly report. I got a salary cut again. For some reason, my board of directors, they're just a pain. I'm making tons of money. Like, well, I guess 47 was less good compared to 46. That's because I had to build a that route up through the mountains is very very expensive I spent an awful lot of money where's the one overhead miscellaneous cost well I don't know where I spent all my money just having more tracks also made less money I think maybe 46 was like a boom year and then 47 was recession year maybe that's how it worked I can't remember point is I need some money I'm in the, I'm in the negatives there we go there we go okay replace my train here Bam. So now we got all new trains. That was kind of what I was hoping to do to start off. We can see them all right here, nice and new. That means they'll break down less and they'll be a bit quicker. A little bit more powerful engines, I believe. Okay, we're making lots of money. Um, what's next? Technically, I could build um, some stuff. Like, uh, I, I generally don't spend too much time doing this. Oh, look at this. We got a new speed record. Woohoo! The Boston Bullet, that's a good name. T average of 26 miles an hour. So which train is this? Obviously it goes to Boston. So, which, which is the Boston Bullet? 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Oops, I just ah, I just accidentally built a bunch of service towers. Just trying to click on the train. Well, at least Mexico and America are at peace. That's nice. Can I not click on that guy? There we go. So is this the Boston Bullet? How do you, how do you see the Boston Bullet? Train list. Hmm. It's got to tell you somewhere. Boston Bullet. Boston Bullet. Here we go. All right. So this is the train that goes strictly from Boston to Lowell and then to Manchester. So it's the Boston Lowell Manchester route. Fairly flat, I guess, but it's got a fancy name. People also pay extra to take this train because it's special. Awesome. See, look at this. I'm such a good tycoon. This is insane. <laughs> anyway, what I was talking about was I think I might make a hotel. Holds passenger traffic. You use them where people like come in and then go out somewhere else. So they, they stay at your hotel. They pay you a little bit of money. So I'll build a hotel here, and I'll build one in uh, New York, because why not? They're generally not the best investments, to be honest, but why not? I'll make, I might make a little bit of money. Post office holds on to mail, if you want to do mail carts. Restaurant, I don't know, makes money, what does it say? They cannibalize, they fight with each other. Oh, what's this? An event! I love these! The Gold Rush has presented you with an opportunity. With your railroad, you can shave off weeks of travel to prospectors looking to get to California. If you know how to capitalize on it. So if I spend 100000 uh, on advertising, we will get 15% more usage. So that'll keep my trains full. Or we can spend 100000 and make our trains faster. I like having fast trains. As you may have noticed, you get awards for having fast trains. Do it. Okay, I think I'll build a restaurant. And maybe a tavern? I don't know. Actually, let's just have... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have, in our big cities, we'll have... We'll own a restaurant, a hotel, and a tavern. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> They're generally not the most profitable of buildings. Well, building those things are tricky. There you go, Golden California. So, Stutter's Mill. Lots of people want to go there. Passenger traffic, I find freight makes you more money generally, until later on. But if I wanted to build to... Is it not even on the map? I mean, California is way over there. Like, way over that way. Left, a long way. West. Maybe if I built it to, like, Altoona or something. Either that or I just can't see it, but whatever. Let's just get on with things. We're making lots of money. So now that we've got um, some holdings, or whatever you want to call them, some, some investments, you can see if we're going to make money or not. Looks like we're making a little teeny bit of money. Um... Maybe we won't make very much. We'll see what the labor and overhead cost add up to. Um, it's tricky. I, uh, you can make a lot of money with the right investments in buildings, but I generally stay out of it. It's not my, my best thing. But if you don't want to play Train Tycoon, you can play building... And I mean, there's lots of buildings you guys saw, right? If I wanted to build, like, breweries and stuff, they're not cheap, two million, but they could make you a lot of money. I guess, like... If you knew some place had a high demand for brewery, you could build this away from it, have a train connecting them, and then you'd make money from the actual sales of the beer, alcohol, and then you'd make money from transporting it as well. That's probably the smart thing to do. Oh, there's weapon factories now. Remember I was talking about that? We're not going to worry about those. I just figured I'd show those off a little bit. Um, the next time we have a yearly report, they should talk a little bit about whether or not our... Uh, our buildings actually make us money. It looks like they'll make a teeny bit. Considering they cost like 50, 100k to build, it's still going to take a long time for them to even pay themselves off, honestly. Trains are much better for making money. Alright. Quick look at company detail. We're doing awesome. I could probably pay off my money, my debt right now. Um, but it's not that big a deal. I mean, like... How much am I losing in interest payments anyway? Like... I am currently spending about 73000 a year in interest. Eh, that's nothing. When you make over a million a year, that's totally cool. I could take more loans out right now, and it would be no problem. Also, personal stock, looks like it's nearly ready to split again. Once it hits 100k, it should split, and I'll have 26,000 shares. It's very, very close. Alright, let's, uh, let's connect up to Syracuse. Should be easy. Um, I think we can cross their track. It won't be too much of a problem. We're not going to use their track anyway. 
There we go. Stock split. So now I have twice as much at half the price, give or take. There we go. So now that the stock split, they're happy with me. Over a million net worth. How'd we do last year? We made, 1948, 1.6 million. I'd say we're off to a good start. How much time do I have anyway, by the way? Um, briefing. I, I always forget. 56. So I've got seven years. It's no problem. I could almost, I could probably nearly afford it right now. Still very, maybe I, maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but point is, I'm going to try. Try to keep these nice and flat. And this is just a small town. Syracuse isn't that big, but we'll, 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 we'll make a track through. Looks like I have to make a small bridge to go over the enemy track. <laughs> Let's just call it the enemy track. And then I'll probably have to make another bridge to go over the river, but such is life. Okay, at least I've got some room. Okay, let's build a small station here. I think I think probably a small station will do. This is not a very good town. We'll build a service tower on that side. And, uh, you know, I might just improve one of my routes. Well, improve. I might just add a stop to it. No, that's the wrong one. Oh, it's probably near... Oh, no, it's near the bottom. This is my New York all the way up. We'll just add a stop to it. Oh, wait, shoot. I click, oh, shoot, I think I'm clicking on theirs. I want that to go away. Syracuse Junction. You, I think you can name your stations too. This should be our last episode. Next time, I'll start taking names for stuff. You guys can, uh, I'll, 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 I'll stop recording after this for a few days, upload them, see how you guys like them. And then you guys, anyone who like, wants to watch the series, you can start naming stations and stuff. So, um... I want to go, yeah, to the Syracuse Junction, sorry, that's the one we wanted to go to. Yeah, never mind. You can click on theirs, but it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, we're good. I was getting stuck on nothing. So, we should now have connected up to Syracuse. Technically now, um, we'll be able to transport goods here. Anyone that wants to get to Watertown actually could. So. We're sort of connected to Watertown, but not by our own personal route. I mean, it'll say not connected, probably. Well, whatever. But uh, we're not going to worry about it. So now, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump over to Buffalo. Let's do it. It's going to be a... Well, I think you can keep playing after the episode's over. We'll just have a look at things for a little bit. Have some fun. Let's build... Can I build a bridge? Yeah, I can build a bridge. Bridges are so expensive. But it's nice and flat here by Lake uh, Ontario. It's nice. We'll go through Rochester. And, you know, I think we'll just take a nice leisurely route down by the water. We won't, we won't, even, we won't even cross the river. We'll get kind of close to the center here. My idea is to build a station in here. And then we'll head... Or not. Nope. Okay. My plan didn't quite work. Really? There's too many houses in the way? Fine, we'll go the expensive route and go over this hill. You know, I can afford it right now if I just go straight. We got so much money, let's just let's just do that. Bam. We are connected. <laughs> so let's build some stations here. I think I'll do medium for Rochester. And Buffalo! It's actually kind of a small town right now, but one day Buffalo will be big. There you go. We'll build a maintenance station down at the end by Buffalo. Give it some water. And we'll add some water to Rochester too. There we go. All right, now we just got to get some trains going. So let's do all these top runs. We'll do, a, we'll do a route through those four, just for fun. Bam. And then we'll do one more route that's just basically an express from Buffalo to New York. Sort of an express. I mean, it's it just doesn't stop at the cities on the way there. I don't want to overutilize the train, the, the rail, because I, uh, it's only single track. I didn't do double. But there you go. Success of this kind is worthy of the gold medal. We are so good. <laughs> and I did this way faster. I still had seven years to go. I guess I'm not too bad at the game. I've got some learning to do to remember all the details, but uh, I definitely think we covered that first mission. And we are going to keep playing for a little bit, just, just to do a couple things. Yeah, Boston and Buffalo linked to the future. 
Blue locomotion ties Buffalo, Boston and Buffalo together. It's because we're the best. <laughs> so yeah, that's. A, I think this is a good intro to the game. It's a pretty easy map. I pretty much killed it, I would say. I have tons of money. I'm making... I'm making... We'll wait till we get a couple annual reports. We'll see how we're doing, but... I think even my new tracks will make me lots of money. I think my holdings... Here we go. So let's see. Income statement. So... Miscellaneous revenue. Where's all this miscellaneous coming from? Wow. Other people using your tracks. Wow. I wonder if I'm actually making... Where's the details? There's got to be a way to get more details. Balance sheet. Where is my money coming from? Where Where is the income? Stock or holiday report transfers. Income statement. I want like more detail. What's the miscellaneous specifically? Are these guys paying me? The yellow guys. They are paying. They should have expenses as in coming towards me. Hmm. Overhead? No. Not exactly sure where the numbers line up. But uh, point is, we've got a lot of money from some random... It, it's probably from other companies and stuff for the most part. We're actually made 116k from our industry, the taverns and hotels and stuff, which isn't too bad. They would pay themselves off after maybe four or five years at that rate. Lots of money from rate, from freight, lots of money from express. Actually, you know I lied. I said most of the money came from freight. We're making most of our money from passengers and mail and troops. So that's cool. Um, most of our money goes to track maintenance. We have a lot of long, long track through the mountains. A few stations. I tried to be frugal with station buildings. So that keeps those down. We have very fuel efficient trains, which is nice. The interest payments are nothing, considering we're making like two million a year. So that's really no big deal. Look at that. We killed the competition. We absolutely killed it. And I'm worth a lot of money. Good. So we win. Um, you could keep playing for a while on the map if you really liked it. I think this is just a fairly easy starter map. Um, I think I made some mistakes at the beginning. I didn't really need to connect up Providence. It, I don't think it made me much money. Um, Let's have a look at the train that goes to Providence. The Providence train. Uh, where do I get the... Oh yeah, no. Well, it actually is filling up. It's got meat. Well, it's got meat cars, just nothing on it. Come on, fill up with something. Make me some money. Prove that you're not a complete waste. Hmm. I don't think this train has really made me much money. We've got lots of passengers, lots of Actually, <laughs> it's leaving Providence right now full. So this is the time. I, I, I didn't really do much micromanagement for this game. But <laughs> if you notice, your trains are all full, 100% full. Oh, this changes things too, actually. So instead of... Uh, basically, this doubles the weight of a car. Yeah. It's good in some route. And it's good for factories. It's hard for, for for tracks. So that will change it. Basically now, anything that was 100% full is 50% full now. So that kind of covers the micro I was talking about. <laughs> the freight and everything will, will carry a lot more per car. But anyway, what I was talking about was that if, for instance, you're always full of 100% passengers because everyone wants to take this thing and it's making tons of money. What I could do is go here and change the max a little bit higher. Um, as long as it's... I, in fact, I could force cars to be one or the other if I do custom, I believe. Yeah, I could say you must bring mail. You must bring passengers. You must bring this or the other. Um, and yeah, if your cars are full, you can increase the number of maximum, like up to five or six or eight if you're really... If you've got really good engines. And the train itself will move slower if it's full. We should see it put up to five this time when it gets here. Yeah, there you go. So this time it's got milk, milk, mail, passengers, and not quite full on the final milk. So maybe five cars is about right. I don't know. If I put six, maybe I'd get more passengers or something. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really worried about micromanaging right now. But yeah, you should probably keep an eye on your trains. And once they're 100% full, add a car. If they're not filling up, then you could cut the cars back a little bit lower. And... Uh, They'll move faster, basically. So you kind of balance it out. Look at this guy. He's making tons of money. 
New York. What's this? This is the the New York Buffalo Run. Oh yeah, that's a big one. It's worth a lot of money because the route is so long. So as time ticks by, the money actually goes down a little bit. It depends on how long it takes to get there. So that's kind of the gamble. If you add cars, it'll take longer, so you got more loss over time, but you do have a higher base sort of value. It's a, it's a balance game. And uh, I didn't really go into that micro for the first episode, the first the first map, because it didn't matter. But uh, yeah, there you go. Let's just end another year, see what it's like now that we've got the buffalo route. Boom time! So yeah, easy money. Looks like we are super rich. I could buy more stock. There we go. Lots of stock. Someone built a munitions factory? I could uh, potentially buy it. How much would it cost? 1.3. I could buy it. I could have a munitions family factory in Edison. Seems like a dumb place for us, because we don't actually have a trek there. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it goes. I just want to see one more end, end year report. See how we do now that connected everything up. Come on, game. How much money? So, our final report, 1850. We, we made tons of money. We're up to 35k a year. We got 5 grand bonus award. The company is making around 2 million a year, depending on stuff. I could pay off all my loans right now, like nothing. Looks like our trains have become even more profitable. Uh, although this one train's having a bit of a hard time. It'll get there. It'll get there eventually. I think that might just be such a long route. It only makes a couple per year or something. <laughs> uh, good times. Our stock is worth ridiculous amounts of money. And uh, yeah, I think our, our, our competition did not do very good. Um, Syracuse never got anywhere. They're super in the hole. And New York West, well, they're making a bit of money, but they just didn't spend it wisely. I'm personally, I have half a million in debts, but I have so much in stock, I'm just the winner. All right, so let's uh, wrap this up. I think that's good for today's episode. Um, it's just quit. There's Now that I've won, we're basically just done. Return to game. I think if I click this, it'll crash the game. So thanks for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. And next time, we'll try out a different map. I'll also wait a little while. So anyone that wants to suggest names for trains, if I can rename them, name for station stuff, you know, you guys can join in. <laughs> All right, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a great day.